Well, there was a time that drinking out of a bottle, I mean a water bottle that is, uh, was popular. You know, you get like all the different products, Asani, mm -hmm. Evian, whatever it may be. But it's not so popular anymore. We're thinking about the plastic, redu reducing plastic, but there's also something else you really should ca be considering, and that's what's in our tap water that's helping you. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. The doctor is in the house right now, <laughs> Dr. Arun Arang, who is our in-house dentist here at daytime and here, here to talk to us today about fluoride in, in water. Yeah, a little bit about, you know, bottled water and a little bit about fluoride because there's, you know, misconceptions about fluoride and a lot of concerns about fluoride. And, you know, I mean, it's rightfully so. It's good to just you know, have more information mm -hmm. and more facts. Well, I think a lot of people didn't realize that they are treating our tap water, I say the government of Ontario is treating our tap water uh, with fluoride. Well, you know, tap water has uh, been treated with fluoride going back to the 50s, mm -hmm. and Ontario was one of the first communities to actually fluoridi fluoridate their water supply. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, 70% of people in Ontario do have access to fluoridated water. But we find that the trend is that people are drinking less tap water, more bottled water, which means that they're consuming less fluoride and it may be causing a bit of a cavity yeah. comeback or maybe one More of the culprits mm -hmm. linked to uh, dental decay being on the rise. Wow. Okay, so let's just do some dental one-on-one for a second here. Okay. What <laughs> is fluoride and why is it good for your teeth? Okay, well, again, fluoride is natu naturally found in nature in water. Uh, as you, you have fluoride in water. It's an element, mm -hmm. and it's found in rocks, and it's found in soil. So as water passes over rocks and soil, the fluoride ions get released from, you know, from the rocks and soil and incorporate or go into the fluoride at low levels. And if, if you're in rural communities, there are areas where the water is quite high mm -hmm. uh, in fluoride and it's, and it's very natural. Now, if it's too high, it can create problems and really? issues. Really? So you can have too much fluoride? Yes, you can. That's what why. What happens if you overdose on fluoride? Well, it can cause modeling of enamel, like when you see discolored enamel, like sometimes the white spots, sometimes okay. yellow spots, brown spots, you know. If you're getting four, five, six parts per million fluoride, or maybe you're getting too much fluoride from various different sources, it could cause problems. And then obviously, more than just the modeling of the enamel, it, it also incorporates in your body's bones. So you don't want excessive fluoride. Okay. So that's not good. Does toothpaste have fluoride? Uh, some do, some don't. So, I mean, again, more toothpaste are now being marketed uh, that don't have fluoride in them. Like but organic toothpaste and things like yes, that. Yes, right. yes. And uh, are those uh, beneficial? Would you go is with the organic? Yeah, yeah. Is, is organic? You know, again, you may want to consider it possibly for a young child or like an infant, possibly. Mm -hmm. But again, I really feel moderation is the key. Like, I always tell all of my patients, uh, you know, children and adults don't use a lot of toothpaste. If you're going to use it, really? use a fluoridated toothpaste, but use half a pea of toothpaste. That's it. Just a tiny smidge. Okay, because right. I'm doing this all wrong then. Because I thought, like, the toothpaste is helping coat my teeth, so I should be using lots of toothpaste. It's just a cleansing agent. It's a okay. cleansing agent. It helps to foam or it helps to scrub and gives you that fresh kind of smell and, and sort of feeling in your mouth. But really, you could be brushing your teeth with just water. Really? You okay. Know? Wow. So it's really just the motion and the action and the cleanliness the of it and the flossing. The mechanical cleansing, you know, the flossing else. and the brushing are going to r reduce plaque and reduce, uh, you know, the buildup on your teeth of plaque. I didn't know that. Well, you know, uh, the bottled yeah. water industry is a huge industry. Oh, we yeah. see, you know... Billion, uh, billion, billion, dollar billion dollar industry. Billion dollars. Yeah. Well, it, well, it is. And you're seeing these new products come out now, um, vitamin water, <coughs> um, you know, and different waters that ha yeah. have uh, yeah. vitamins added, added. to them. Yeah. Uh, do those have fluoride and are those beneficial so uh, for your... For your so now our tap water has about 0.6 to 1 part per million of, of uh, fluoride in it. And, in t and you know, that, that is optimal. Like, you know, that's an optimum amount. Uh, and in 2007, actually, Health Canada com you know, uh, commissioned a study of independent experts. And th the whole point of the study was, is, is fluoride in water supply system safe? Mm -hmm. And they found an, an effective amount, like an effective, it is effective and safe in those quantities. Bottled water has very little or no fluoride in it. They are beginning to add fluoride into bottled water. Why is that? But well, because it gets, it's filtered. So m many of the filtration systems may be reverse osmosis or something, so they're removing the good minerals too. Mm -hmm. Two of the biggest bottlers, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, of bottled water, Dasani and Aquafina, do you know it's filtered tap water? 
I did know that. It's really? filtered tap water. Yeah. It's municipal tap water that's been filtered, and one of them's one of them is making it right up in Brampton. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so <laughs> stop buying that bottle of water. But did, but did you I know? just drink the tap water. I'm you know, sure. I, it is. Yeah. I'm starting right now, though. I'm look. I'll work it on my teeth as we speak. Well, scientific studies show that there's a decrease in cavities in communities that do have fluoridated water. Uh, from anywhere between 15 to 50 percent. Like it yeah. makes the enamel more resistant to tooth, uh, to tooth decay, especially in children because their enamel is still forming. Mm -hmm. You know, it incorporates into the enamel yeah. and also in adults. The Canadian Dental Association has now said that they feel that fluoride is uh, uh, recommended for adults as well. Really? Do you mm. ask your patients when you notice that they're getting more cavities, are you drinking tap water? Is it part of their uh, teeth regime? Well, we can ask, yeah, again, when we're seeing maybe too much tooth decay in a child, we're, we're asking, you know, is there enough exposure to fluoride? Maybe they're drinking bottled water, maybe they're using a toothpaste with no fluoride. Mm -hmm. Again, obviously, it's diet as well, too many refined foods, carbohydrates, candy, sugar. Now, one of the most uh, memorable and I guess the, the, uh, one of the, the funner experience at the dentist, because I didn't have so many as a child, was <laughs> when, you, when you get to choose the flavored fluoride. How right. often should you be going to the dentist to get a professional fluoride treatment? Well, you know what, again, most people are on a six to nine month re regimen of coming into the dentist. So once or twice a year, you know, is all we really recommend professionally. Do, ch do children need more fluoride though? Mm -hmm. Well, again, either get if they're drinking tap water, if they're using a fluoridated toothpaste, you know, and then they're already getting it from other sources, so they don't need to take an excessive amount of fluoride. There are certain circumstances if someone's salivary glands aren't working properly, if they're not, you know, producing enough saliva, or if they're more susceptible to root decay when they're getting older. In situations, we actually give them more fluoride in custom home trays. But for the average person, if they're getting a fluoride rinse or, you know, fluoride in a fluoride foam in, in trays uh, once, or, you know, once or twice a year, that's more than adequate. That's mm -hmm. adequate. Yeah. So then uh, just to wrap things up, to ensure that we're all getting enough fluoride for our teeth, last minute recommendations from the dentist. Well, next time you're thinking about reaching for that bottled water, you know, think twice and you might want to just elect to go with the top. Top Save water the money. instead. <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. Exactly. Stay tuned. Great more tips when we come back on daytime.